No, and that, that actually reminds me of a mm. story I have with my, I don't think I've told it on the podcast, actually. Ooh, so, you know one. Seth? Um, Seth. Uh, uh, my best friend. Barbecue. Last barbecue, time. yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, Seth. So, Seth, great guy. Um, we graduated college together. We've done everything together. And back then, we were super, like, paranormal, Ooh, ghost goblins, all okay. that kind of stuff. All right. So, me and Seth, we decide mm. we're going to go to the woods and try and find the Wendigo. You know, the scary mm. guy. Um, so we get everything together and we're going to go camping is what our like initial thing is. So we get everything together for camping. We get the flashlights, we get everything, the sleeping bags, the tents. So we start, we, we leave, we're driving my car, um, to the, to the campsite and we get there. It was my car. Yeah, my car. So we're driving my car. Your car. How many people fit in your car? Probably a lot of people in such a small car. It's like five. I think there's five seats. You could probably fit six if you're squeezing, you know? Maybe seven. I mean, maybe. In such a small car. That's a pretty small car. Mm -hmm. I like that little car though, you know? I don't like the big the big cars. Sure, sure, yeah. Yeah, so we get there, um, we're driving my car, so we open, we grab all our stuff, and we start hiking into the, into the spot, and we're on this railroad track. It's kind of like abandoned. So we're walking, and uh, my flashlight isn't working, mm -hmm. and I'm like, Oh no, like the That's spooky. The spooky has already begun. And so he gives me this his taser because he has a taser for defense. And mm -hmm. the only thing I have for light, because he has a flashlight, is I only have a taser. Mm -hmm. And so it's just doing the and through all those ticks I can see flashes and that's it. And it's kinda like um a strobe like a strobe effect where it's just like um like a circus. Yeah, kinda like a circus, yeah, they have strobing lights and all that. So, um, so we're, we keep walking. Like a circus. Yep. Okay. So we keep walking and we get to this bridge and across the bridge, like down below, we just see these glowing eyes. Ooh. I know. That's, that's shady. I know. That's spooky. So I'm like, it's just an animal or something. And then it stands up and it's like 12 feet tall or something, oh, yeah. dude jumps into the trees we start sprinting i'm like we are not staying so we're how running how fast were you going when you i'm ran. sorry how, how fast did you run i, I mean I, would, I was running for my life so i was really keeping pretty measure. fast super fast yeah i don't think i've ever run that fast in my life so we're pretty big shoes to run that fast how big are your shoes uh, they were actually these shoes um 12s men's pretty big i think Maybe the, the average. Interesting. So we keep running. We're almost out of the woods. And so I like we're about to be out and the tree line's about to end. And right in the tree line next to me, out of the corner of my eye, I just see like this white deer skull. And it's probably just like a skull, but it looked like a Wendigo. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like a clown looking in the mirror. I, what? Like if you were a clown and you looked in the mirror, you might go, whoa, that looks like a skull, but it's actually just a clown looking in the mirror because he's got white face paint on. I guess it was kind of like a mirror situation, more so just like man and beast. Yeah, like a clown looking in the mirror. I guess if that's what you want to say. I mean, would you say that? It wasn't really like a clown situation to me. It was more so just, I thought mm -hmm. I saw a Wendigo in the woods. Yeah, sure. Where's the story? You, you, you're leaving me out. Come on. Sorry. Right. Yeah, so we get in the car and we're leaving. And we're like, that was one of the most scary moments of our life. So we decide to go home. But before we go home, we go to the yeah, store. So shut up real quick. Uh, what's your favorite movie, actually? As, just what's your favorite movie? Just like subverting the topic, going to a new topic. Just, I, it's a pretty easy question. Okay. Um, if I had to say favorite movie, I, like, I love After Sun. After Sun's a really good Okay, your favorite horror movie. Horror gets into that. I don't know, like slasher, psychological. I kind of like horror. just a horror movie. So I mean, I'd have to go with like Halloween. You know, Michael Myers, Laurie Strode, Doctor. Okay, Lewis. So your favorite Stephen King movie. S Stephen King's a great author. Um, Shining probably is top of the list. It was like I saw it when I was just a little too young. Okay, well, if you had to rank your favorite Stephen King movies from the most red balloons in them to the least red balloons in them, what would be your favorite Stephen King movie with the most red balloons in it? It seems like you're not letting me just pick a movie. It seems like you're backing me into a corner. This is a pretty easy question for a non-clown to answer. 
All right, if I had to go with whichever one had the most red balloons, I would probably have to go with It. Mm, yeah, that's an interesting movie. A lot of clowns in that movie. There's like one clown. That's a lot of clowns compared to the other two. It seems to me like you were legit just trying, like, do you think I'm a clown? I was a clown the whole time. Yeah, I knew you were a clown the whole time. I was a clown the whole time. Yeah, I knew you were a clown. <laughs>what's going on guys owen here from the broski lodge podcast i just thought we would do some behind the scenes today um so we got our podcast set up right there as you see it's uh we got some pretty cool things going on um the pump, famous pumpkin uh, all right guys i just want to let you know none of it's real corbin's not abusive i'm not some jerk who hates father's day jokes uh corbin is actually dead though i actually did kill him